Welcome everyone to this session, how an API helped me change my perspective of failing by Jaya. So thank you, Jaya, for joining in. Thank you for finding time to join us today. Hey, Karan, thanks for the introduction and uh, thanks to Selenium Con for this uh, opportunity. So uh, I just wanted to talk about an experience which I had uh, about couples of years ago. Uh, and that is what this topic is about, which is how an API helped me change perspective of failing. So a quick introduction about me. Uh, I am Jay Chakravarti and I am a QA SME and I am a digital transformation consultant right now. I have a total of 15 years experience and 13 years with ThoughtWorks. And I am passionate and enthusiastic about Agile and also QA because most of my life I have been a QA. The other important thing is I love music and uh, I am a dog dad. And uh, I am a biker, both motor and non-motor. I go with trips with my friends on bikes and with motor and without motor also. So that's me. Now, quickly coming to the point, right? Like, why should I talk about failing, right? So I think that failure is completely underrated. Nobody talks about failing. But the fact is everybody fails at some point of time because whenever you try something new, it happens that, you know, like, things doesn't go entirely the way you want at the very first time. The other important thing is that to normalize failures and the most important factor about failures is what you learn from them. So it's not only about normalizing failure, it's also about, you know, like what are the takeaways when you fail? And the other important thing is like when you're trying out something new, there's always a factor of anxiety and depression which goes into it, right? Like, for example, even this particular talk, which I'm giving, that's like some amount of anxiety, which I have, but I need to overcome it and still give the talk. So when you talk about uh, anxiety, people, you know, like try to tend to move away from anxiety and, you know, tend to not fail, think about failures and things like that. So like, maybe this might be, you know, like a decent trigger for you to, you know, like overcome that. The other important thing is that when you pass on a failure, you move to the next level, the courage comes next. So I just wanted to, you know, like do that. So failure until that particular incident, right? What was failure to me at that particular point of time was the typical failures which I've had, like failing in exams or failing in tests, failing in gaming. The other thing is like failing in relations, like something breaks up, you know, with your parents or with your mom or wife, husband, spouse, whomever, right? There is something which happens. The other important thing which I want, out, want to point out is the failures which happens in your regular day-to-day -day work. For example, there might be a performance which has not grown really bad. Or uh, there might be like a small defect which misses your hand and goes to production, right? But still, I would consider these failures are your regular day-to-day -day failures which probably affects you and your team nearby or your family nearby. It doesn't affect anybody you don't know, right? So now at this particular point of time, when the particular incident happened, what was the failure then? The failure then was 400 German users getting affected. So this particular story is about, you know, like what the failure happened, you know, like what we did about it and what was the learning from it. So there's an entire session about. So, so the story is very simple, right? I triggered a wrong API in the prod. So that is the story. Now, this particular project is about uh, a company which deals with organization, deals with exhibitions, they run exhibitions, right? So when you think about exhibitions, the, the most important thing which should probably come to mind is the sheer amount of people which come, like be it the people who are exhibiting content, be it the people who are attending to see what is being exhibited. So both the buyers and sellers and everybody involved. The other important thing here is that this is like a mobile app which was being done for, you know, like making this exhibitions work. It was to create contacts from a buyer to seller. This particular app was to deal with that. The most other important aspect was, this is a new rollout which was happening to Germany. So we have been already rolled out to multiple uh, BUs or multiple countries, so to say. This was the first time which we are rolling to, you know, like rolling out to Germany. Now, when the thought comes about Germans, they are usually very strict. They are very on time. You know, this was like a very important rollout for us. And there's like a lot of halabala around, you know, like this has to go really well. There shouldn't be a single mistake. Nothing should happen and all those things. So the day which happened, tomorrow is that show and we are rolling out, you know, like 
two night like it was almost around the same time as in india which is like around say 7:30 right it was almost around the same time and the important part is that we usually send something called as welcome email and end of show email whenever the show happens and for this particular bio they don't want it to happen they want it to do in their own way which was already happening for all the time so they just wanted the mobile app for this and not the services around you know the welcome and ems email so what happened the email actually went right so what happened like i was doing the testing i was the lead qa of the project you know like we had to release at that point of time and what i did was when when we are in a certain system we tend to forget all those things right for example you you tend to not lock your door at some point of time because you know it has been safe it has been always working so what happens is that you tend to not you know use your insurance or that so that's that's what happened so i was working in production i was you know like working with the sog swagger or you know the 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 place where you trigger apis to test all, all those things and apparently i was trying to test it in the prod and i triggered that thing so that that is a story now what happened so 400 users were affected all german users a possible bad rep even before the usage of the app right so app this has not been used even now it's being going to use tomorrow so a possible bad rep today right a threat for the adoption because it's like a new bu uh, you know uh, they have to adopt lot of people needs to you but that's like in bad reputation already and the other important thing which is very obvious is angry and sad kids so how was it received by everybody like that's like various people involved right which is like definitely myself and definitely there's like lot of people around me who are involved right so i wanted to try time travel like 10 seconds before you know like go back you know like make that change you know like not trigger the api and the important point was that i i never have done something like that ever and i have never been part of a team where something like this has happened where you know something has gone really really bad and i don't know how to handle it like if i would have been in a position where my team member would have done something like this i don't know how i would have handled it so this was like my reaction what was the other reaction so the pm and tl they were like you know they were like they wanted to hear what happened you know they were like so uh, you know empathetic towards the factor that you know like something wrong, wrong has happened let me listen to jaya let me understand you know what has happened and all those things the other important thing is like there are like two important clients in this particular project the client one was like really angry he was like really scary at that point of time he blasted some words and all those things right and in my mind i was like little bit happy that you know he was actually scared also so that made me a little bit happy at that point of time the other client was you know he was like really calm he was like thoughtful he was telling like things like you know like uh, things like this will happen you know like this is like an important project but i know you folks are stress things like this will happen let's see how it will work out and when i went home like i was like so you know like uh, so sad about what happened i didn't know what to do and i had to uh, spoken to the client spoken to my team and everybody and i went when i went home my wife was like very panicked to see me being panicked right but i said what happened she is like immediately then like things like this will happen she like actually indifferent about it she didn't give any reaction like like don't worry about it nothing happened and finally to the operations teams like for example uh, people who attend my who do my reviews right so consider them as operation folks they actually took it as a success story like because like something good happened with it and you know like we did some mitigations we ensured that you know things like this will never happen so actually it came out as a success story now what is the point which i'm trying to make you know by seeing all this different uh, behaviors that you say right the important point i want to make here is failures are perspective even though the, the 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 problem affects everybody in almost the same way the perspective are like completely different the other important thing which i want to point out is that you might think it as a big deal right because the problem has occurred to you for the very first time you don't know how to handle it but you might think it as a very big deal but it may not be a big deal and that's what exactly happened so when we said to the client it was not so bad after all we were thinking about the german mentality about you know like this being an import roll out and all those things but when they heard it they immediately said okay things like this will happen it's just an email right let's figure out what to do next 
so so what we started off with doing right like the very next day we sent and sorry our apology email to all those 400 folks telling them you know again this is not an actual email please ignore it we are working on the system there's some issues which is happening right now like the stall is like everything is fine just please ignore this email the other important thing which was like a little bit scary for me was the, the client too who was actually very you know like thoughtful and very empathetical that person was you know on top of me for like two or three weeks after that and it was like a very difficult situation for me at that point of time and personally for me me being a qa for you know almost 14 or 15 years never been done something like this it was uh, a little bit you know like trashing of my confidence over there so it took me at least like two or three more releases to you know like get get me back to that particular spot where i was like comfortable doing releases the other important thing is that obviously there was some amount of confidence which has gone uh, on me from the clients but it uh, but it came back it took about a month or so 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 what would we exactly do about it right so the thing is that we created a detailed test strategy and the initial test strategy which we had didn't do a lot with uh, you know the apps getting rolled out to multiple BUs and all those things so it didn't have a lot of strategy around the post release itself so we made a lot of changes lot of additions from that st standpoint we're telling that you know like when you have when you have a release when you're doing a production release like ensure that you don't almost never do any kind of testing and production at all the other important thing is that limited access to prod so uh, the the access to prod was almost revoked for like most of us but still we somehow figured out a way to test it eventually right the other important thing was like pairing in prod so now we ensure that every time we test something in prod uh, uh, we still avoided a lot in testing in prod but whenever we did we ensured that you know like we do pairing in prod the other important thing thing is that uh, we created a test tenant so whatever we did right this particular project uses like a tenant kind of mechanism for each and individual deployments uh, in the individual BUs. so we create a test tenant where we could you know like test multiple things the other important thing is like a lot of documentations around, you know, like what is being tested, what are the strategies, what are the various uh, scenarios you will test. It's not a good place to be in creating all this documentation. But still, because there's some error at my hand, I had to do it. The other important thing is like sticking to all the award point. Now, the important aspect which I want to talk about is like what was the learnings which I had, which I had. Like, you know, like we as I said, the initial example of what I said, right? Like we are in a place. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. sorry to interrupt five minutes yeah. remaining. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thanks. Karan. So when, when you are in a home, you tend to consider this always a safe place and, you know, you might tend to uh, not lock it to some point of time, but eventually if, you know, the stars don't align, like something might happen, right? You have to still give importance on a daily basis. So from that point of view, giving respect to the prod was the most important takeaway for me. Like you are, you are great. You are awesome. It doesn't matter if you're dealing with a prod, you have to, you know, like respect that. The other important thing is what takeaway was failure is a part of life. Life's like no escape from that. Anyone can make mistakes. So if somebody tells you that I haven't made a mistake, probably they are lying or probably they haven't tried anything new. The other important thing is that this made me understood that, you know, like I, as I said, I didn't know how I would have reacted. So this made me uh, uh, think that, you know, be reassuring to the person, you know, who has made some kind of mistake, you know, and the other thing, which important thing, which I did was I immediately said to the client, like, right, like after two minutes after I, you know, like triggered the API. So uh, immediately reporting or immediately talking about the issue will make a lot of progress. The other important thing is fixing the failure or what's next is much more important than, you know, getting caught up in feeling bad. So you have to feel bad, but you know, like it's also very important about trying to fix. Uh, other point is avoiding of failure in future, the safety nets we build and all those, and the, all those things is also very important than, you know, getting caught up in feeling bad. And also the other thing is, uh, it's also okay to feel bad. It's okay to, you know, like go home and cry, or it's also okay to, you know, talk to somebody about it. And the other last important thing is okay to be scared. Everybody feels scared. So, so that's uh, pretty much uh, what I had. And, uh, and this is what I wanted to share with all of you folks. Thank you. So some of my um, contacts are here. 
Yeah. Thank you so much, Jaya. That's a really insightful session. When you were sharing the learnings, yeah, I could relate to my experience, right? When we have faced these things. Uh, so uh, right now I have, I'm seeing there are no questions from the attendees. Yeah. So uh, what we can do, uh, we can end up the session or if you want to talk more because we have four more minutes left so we can talk. Otherwise we'll be having the hangouts table where all the, all the attendees can join in and Jaya as a speaker, he'll be available there. So you can talk to, talk to him in person virtually though, but yeah. yes, that you can talk to him. Uh, so do I need to stay here or what should I do? Sorry. Uh, do you have anything to? Uh... No, no. So uh, the yeah, I just yeah, I just got one question um, from the Pali. Thank you, the Pali, for posting the question. Uh, let me read it out, read it out for you. Yeah. So how we have handled this situation with clients one and two who are scary and thoughtful. <laughs> so um the the way i put it itself right so the client one he was like more worried about what happened like right then so when he understood that you know like the germans were actually okay he was actually like a switch turning off he was like completely back to normal he didn't even ask about anything actually so that fixed it the other per so the first person was like more like a product person the other person like more like a technical person he understood what can go wrong in the future so from his point of view he was on top of things for the next two, three weeks, as I said. So we had to, or at least like I had to, you know, like tell him like, what are the safety nets which I'm doing? So it was like a long process to get him also to understand what we are doing. Sure. Okay. Uh, there is another question from Manoj Kumar. Thank you, Manoj, for posting. Uh, the question is, as you said, not many talks about failure. What was the moment that changed in you to share a failure story? So it's interesting. So in ThoughtWorks, we have something called as fail cons and uh, we share stories of our failure. And uh, somehow down the line, I always think that, you know, like people don't talk about a lot about failure because it's easier to learn when you learn from somebody else's failure, right? And it actually costs a lot when you do the failure themselves. So that's learning already, but that's a mismatch of, you know, like people not talking about it a lot. So, so, so that was the thought process when I, when I had this and when things went actually well, I thought I should share about this. Sure. Thank you, Jaya. Thank uh, you. I hope that answers your question, Manoj. Um, thank you everyone for joining in again. And uh, yes, um, uh, Jaya will be available in the hang uh, hangouts table. So you. you can see him there. Thank you so much, Jaya. And thank you so much everyone for joining in. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.